What's up? Let's get it done. Hopefully this will be good. Okay. Wow, patch history. What the fuck? Smooth the groove! What the fuck is this? He was in our guild, he was in MAGA! Really? Okay, holy shit. Oh, there he is. There he is! Hey guys, what's up, Mad Season here, back with another video for you in my Patch by Patch series. It's okay. been a good bit since I did one of these. In the last one, we covered Patch Point 10, which had some pretty major stuff going on. Okay. The level cap was increased to 60, That's big. the raid grouping system was implemented, and we saw the release of the Stratholm dungeon and the Black Rock Spire raid, Fuck and yeah, also dude. the Winter Spring, Western, and Eastern Plagueland zones, and the last remnants of that old skill point system finally saw its end. Thank God. I wanted to make this video a twofer, because these patches are kind of small in comparison. Okay. They're the final two patches before release, so it makes sense that this they're is not a great doing song. these huge sweeping changes. Just trying to smooth out the more major systems and get some semblance of. Can we go back and just look at this right here? Okay, the final just two one second. I want to show release. you guys something so here. It makes sense that they're not doing these huge sweeping changes. Oh, next just one. Just trying to smooth out. See, this is a vanilla war. Uh, van vanilla warrior right here. Look at this guy right here. He's literally doing nothing. The more major systems and get. He's some actually semblance. just AFK. He's just sitting there AFK. That's how you know this is actual vanilla WoW footage. Like, if you go and you watch the old Vanilla WoW videos, <laughs> people everywhere are just fucking AFK. <laughs> they're not even doing anything. They're Vanilla WoW Raiders. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're backpedaling around, etc. It's awful. Oh, but you better not take a rep, pal. Then, oh, Starting no, with no, the most no. Stuff That's right. Though, I'd much up, rather have people just AFK in the raid. Oh, <laughs> By now can't in have the a rep, series, pal. You... No. Well, to be oh. fair, though, if a warrior was AFKing in the raid, as long as he was auto attacking, he'd probably be doing about the same damage as the rep paladin would, considering they're yeah, using the same tool set. He wasn't, though. Okay. Wait, what the fuck is. Ugh. It's probably noticed that all of the models are just slightly different than what you're used to for classic World of Warcraft. She's hot. The humans skip leg day. What the Maybe the fuck? sitting emotes are different. Doors have a different posture and, uh, do that when they take fall damage. Oh my god. This patch saw an update. Is it bone breaking? Holy models, shit. And we ended up with races that we all know and love. Okay. People ask all the time for an option for new models and animations for the re-release of Classic, but I'm still waiting on those original female trolls, man. Like seriously, who looked at this and said, Nice, looks good. Two arms, two legs, makes sense to me. As you can uh, see, the Torrens had a hunchback uh, of Notre Dame thing going on, but don't be fooled by their large okay. stature. As it turns out, they're quite limber. Yeah, I can and see that. if you look closely, the night elf breasts are 50% more bouncy. And female Whoa, gnomes are 50% more bouncy. If you look closely, the night elf breasts are 50 Okay. We don't... Wow! Yo, true, dude. We're just oh, listen, we're... wait, and they got rid of that. Why did they get rid of that? Sounds great. Well, people got offended. I guess so. And female gnomes are. Uh... What the fuck is that? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let's just move on, huh? So, new models and animations to make things look a bit prettier in this patch. Yeah, I'd say so. Next though, we have Warlock Talents. Not Ooh. actually the final trees to be added to the game, as the release patch 1.1 would see the reveal of the Paladin and Hunter trees. Now unfortunately, okay. I can't find the original .11 trees. As you can see, the demonology tree has yet to be implemented, so we'll just have to settle for the point one two talents instead. It's about the same. As far shit. as I know, these are all the same. Yeah, these are all the same. We have the demonology tree here. Okay. As for the original warlock trees, though, 
It's surprisingly similar to the final 1.12 talents. Yep. It seems like they hit it right on the money for what they wanted for the Warlock. There you go! For the there other classes, go. we saw some strange things, such as that pesky troll regeneration racial rearing its ugly head. Wait, what is this here? P P pesky troll regeneration? Let me go For back and look at classes, that again. We saw some uh, I want to see things, that. Such as that pesky troll regeneration. Ra Combat endurance. Wait, this is a warrior thing? A passive ability that allows your hit point regeneration from spirit to work while in combat? Wait, what the fuck? That would have been insane. That would have been OP as fuck. That would have been amazing. Holy fuck, man. And they got rid of this? Oh my god. This is awesome. Spirit stacking it's warriors. It's ugly head. But for Damn. Warlock, it's pretty similar. One thing I noticed is that their ruin talent used to be called Holocaust, so that was changed for obvious. <laughs> oh. <gasps> okay. Okay, dude. Reasons. And How did that get that through? Warlocks have a nice buff to getting stoned, so that's always nice. Speaking of which, though, and this was something that persisted through Classic. But their firestones actually gave some bonus damage to melee attacks, which is kind of strange. Oh, that's good. Just in case so you want to get in there. Element to them. That, that's a really good idea. Priests, which might seem odd, but I think it's something that came more from the dungeons and dragons scene, okay. which I'm sure influenced World of Warcraft quite a bit. Yeah. If only there was an original class designer still around to ask these questions. Well, it just so happens that there is. Kevin Jordan was one of the original designers of the game and the man responsible for all of this stuff. What the fuck? He was the main class designer for Vanilla World of Warcraft, and he streams oh, quite a bit on Twitch.tv, so I want to give him a quick plug here. Definitely check him out if you want to hear some perspective of the game in both its current and classic state, or just an the, entertaining look at the old stream talent in trees. general. What the fuck was that? But anyways, another big change is the addition of new loot methods, which group were pretty important. Loot. We have the group loot, which brings up a loot window whenever an item drops. This was before the Need and Greed era, as the only two options were Was that were trading back pass. in the day? That was only added in patch 1.7, oh where they distinguished between Need and Greed. Not this game was so rudimentary back then. Greed loot option, which just auto-passes items that certain players can't even use. Okay. So, just some added loot protection here. Makes Most sense. Most guilds, if they were smart, would opt for the Master Looter, and just use third-party methods. They sure would. Items, such as Dragon Killing Points, or DKP for short. Yep. Which That's was the loot system that was first adapted in the EverQuest game, actually. Basically, you get these points for killing raid bosses or donating to the guild, and you use them as a currency to bid on items. That was like, like the most pay-to-win shit ever back in the day. Whenever you were able to spend extra DK, you were able to get extra DKP by contributing things into the guild bank, and then you just had everybody, like these same people that would just like buy the rewards, basically. I would get so goddamn mad about that. Against other guild members. Players would also use loot consoles, okay. where the higher ranking members decide who gets what. And for those who liked complete anarchy, he also had the manual slash rolling system. But yeah, that, that was, was always really great. Stuff like this would happen. Oh, oh dude! What are you doing? Oh dude! Oh my god! What the fuck? How did shit never <gasps> drops? I'm going to kill myself right now. See ya. <laughs> Oh, Rest man. assured, though, no matter what she did, drama quickly that arose great. over who should get these items and who shouldn't. Me. Epics were epic back then, to say the least. Yeah, I'd say While so. Leveling, you mostly More so greens, than they are now. Maybe a couple of blues here and there. Right. So seeing a purple was extremely rare. So at the end game, these would be coveted ultra powerful. Yeah, items that's a big that purple boy. Wanted. And with 40 man raids, there simply weren't enough to go around. Friendships yep. forged over the course of years fell victim to the power of the mighty pixel. <gasps> you piece of shit! You piece of shit! I can't believe you- Oh my god. Wow, man. Man, and he has my fun. motherfucking gloves, too! So they did their best to provide a means for players god, to them out in an organized fashion. It. But ultimately, it was up to the guilds and players. Dude! But next, going into If the Blizzard wants to make the game better, they should just add Master Woot back in. And then make it to where, whenever you join a pug, you have to be in voice chat. And that way, as soon as somebody would ninja with some shit, you'd have people screaming on the fucking mic, getting so mad. You would have so many new videos of people yelling and screaming at each other, it would just be amazing. I genuinely think Blizzard should make it to where you basically, like, uh, they should incentivize, like, th maybe they'll give you, like, 20% more, like, artifact power or something if you join voice chat. 
to get people using it more often. I'd fucking love that. Uh, like, being able to talk shit to other people in, in online games, that's why they were made. More minor stuff of Point Eleven, the undead race lost their ability to speak common, instead now having gutter speak as their main Yeah, language. because they're inferior. We talked about this earlier in the series, so I won't stick on this for too long. But of course, once being yep. human, undead players did retain their fluency in the common tongue, and they were able to understand and talk to other Alliance players. Wow. It was removed probably to yeah, maintain the faction dumb. separation, which was more important back then, and probably because players weren't playing too nice, I like to imagine. <laughs> Another funny change I thought is that water walking no longer works on lava. Lava was very deadly back then, as you'd imagine. Oh yeah, so like lava was just water, poor basically. Shaman not reading the patch notes and just jumping into a pool of lava to their doom. Fuck them. That's well, what they get if you don't know how to lava jump. Dirty horde. Yeah. And this is kind of off topic here, but a little fun fact for you okay. is that the original way to zone into the Molten Core was to go through this window right yep, here. Yep, yeah, Black to Rock jump Mountain. right through the little window. If things were working correctly, you'd zone right in. However, back then, there were issues with instances, and sometimes you'd fail to load, and you'd then be dumped into the lava instead to certain death. Well, some developers a little bit of RNG, just right? Off, Make probably. the game a bit more exciting. We know your game, Kevin. Don't try to hide it. <laughs> yeah. And another issue was, at first, due to their size, Torn weren't able to even zone in into the raid because they couldn't fit through the window. This was all remedied in patch 1.3, oh, though, they didn't when need they to added fix that. That sounds great. to simply teleport players yeah, inside that, the raid. Yeah, that's amazing. I love that. And another trolley thing here is that this patch updated the mage portals. They now require you to click on them to go to the city, which, if I'm understanding this correctly, previously it was just based off of proximity. So you probably had these mages opening portals on unsuspecting party members. Hey, that's one way to- Dude, if you fuck- Dude, fucking imagine if we had that, and we could just find a group of mages to just, like, all converge on one person, like a 40-man raid, and just make portals all around them. So they literally can't fucking go anywhere. Like, and make the portals to, like, fucking Exodar or some dumb shit like that. That would be so goddamn fucking amazing. Get yeah, loot. portal prison. Just wait until the boss is almost dead and port the unsuspecting warlock to Darnassus. Yep, and then you get the loot. As you can see, this patch was also when they removed armor tech from cloaks. Ever wonder why there are so many cloaks in the game, especially early on? Or yeah. why some were specified as chain but didn't give any bonus armor? That's a really good well, point. it's all a remnant of this old cloak system. Holy shit, I never even thought of that. Wow. But that's about it for patch 0.11. God damn. Like I said, though, I also wanted to cover patch 0.12. Holy shit, I had no the idea. The biggest change here, probably, is the addition of durability to the game. Oh, this is another no. point to bring up in regards to the oh, casual nature no. of the game back then. Once again, yeah, this sucks. Star Wars Galaxies here, this game also had a durability system, but it was much more harsh. If an item's condition drained all of the way, it was broken forever. Wait, you what? could repair it in this game as well, but it wasn't a guaranteed that thing. That sucks. There were a few outcomes. That's actually fucking that's garbage. One, the item is fully repaired. Two, the item is repaired. Oh my but god. The max durability is reduced. And three, you fail completely, and the item just breaks right then and there. That, that's so. Oh, that sounds any like Black item Desert. You get would eventually break. Can Little you back. imagine in World of Warcraft getting your hand of Ragnaros, and then two weeks later you lose it because you failed in a repair? Again, it just goes to show that during the time, <laughs> hey, World of that's Warcraft great. was aimed for that casual market back then, and it says a lot about where the genre has gone as a whole, since as you know, people look back to classic yeah, as it's being, a race quote, to the bottom in many aspects compared to current. How can we cater to but the biggest idiot possible? It's still super important because it was the biggest gold sink back then, and probably still is today in fact. I fucking hated that shit, man. Like, as a warrior back then, like, part of the warrior's cost was actually having to repair your gear because plate gear would just cost a lot more gold to repair. And I remember, like, whenever I would have to repair and it would take me one gold, like, if it ever went over one gold, I got mad. Like, I immediately got mad. Because I thought to myself, I'm like, man, this is not my fault. I did not die for this. Like, I mean, I, I, this is not my fault that we die before. It's somebody else's fault. And I, I really, I was, no, I wasn't molding back then because I still had hair. I was like 16 years old. But I was pissed. Let me say that for sure. Spells, professions, and mount training were all expensive back then. But she would eventually max all of that out. Repairs, on the other hand, were present at every stage of the game at level 1, and at level 60 in Extremis rating, and they were quite harsh for more heavily armored players as I recall. They sure were! It was were. common back then for guilds to fund the repair costs for their main It was such fucking bullshit, dude. Like, a, a cloth wearer would full repair for like 70 silver. 
if you're in plate armor like that shit right there on the screen, it'd be like five gold. Like, imagine spending five gold in Classic WoW just to repair your shit. Thanks, because, well, they died the most. And yeah. And usually being protection, it was more time consuming for them to grind gold. I made the, the guild pay for my repairs. Certainly something that would have outraged beta testers when it was released, okay. since I'm sure gold was already pretty hard to come by. Yeah, it was. But next, we have the release of the Shkolomance dungeon. Oh, dude. In the previous episode, we previewed the Isle of Caradero, and we talked a bit about how it may have turned out to be an outside questing area. But in this patch, we got the I wish they had done that. That would have been love. cool. And Skullamance was officially added as a dungeon, and it was a good choice because it was one of the more iconic dungeons in the game, serving Dude, as a I school fucking love of that necromancy dungeon. and shadow magic. For like, I wish they'd bring this minions. back. This place held the iconic tier zero headpieces for each class. Everyone wanted. I still think Blizzard should do that shit, honestly. Like they should make it to where we're back, like for one week or like two one or two weeks each each year, you can go back and do the old dungeons and try to farm them for the transmog gear. And that way, like, everybody would fucking just sit there and wait for that one week. It would be like Vanilla WoW. It would be like, not really the anniversary, but like, imagine like Vanilla WoW time walking. It would happen in like July or something like that. So everybody would off, be off school. So they would bring back all of the old dungeons with all of the old loot tables. And you could go back to there and you would have that one shot. And I, I this is the most controversial thing that I've said. They could bring back Naxxramas 40 man, scale it, scale everybody down to where Naxxramas is like just ridiculously fucking hard. And give you one shot a year for Corrupted Ashbringer. And allow you to use Master Loot in the dungeon. You guys say no. Imagine how mad. Imagine how fucking mad. There were people would would probably try to kill each other. If a game is so good that you want to kill somebody over it, that's a good game. The head and shoulders back then, mainly because they're the most noticeable. But the dungeon as a whole is impeccable, as with most dungeons in classic. This is where the paladins finished that great question. Oh for their fuck! Epic was mount. it Rattle Scale? What was his name? Here Rattle Gore. Yeah, Rattle Gore. For multiple waves of enemies. Oh, this was so fucking annoying. To certain paladin seals. Yeah, you can't they do that one anymore, with unfortunately. The Gandling boss, who was one of the few multiple phase bosses in the game at that point, I fucking hated that boss. Into the surrounding rooms and locking them inside until they kill all of the zombies. He had a chance to drop this staff, which was highly sought after by casters back then. I never did that. Like I said, anything purple would be like an oh snap moment. Yeah, it's like getting Everyone legendary would stop now. In their tracks and try to come up with ways to justify just why it's ultimately a hunter weapon. Yeah, basically. Secrets were abound, summonable bosses, a key to collect. Kithronos the Herald or, or, or Kithronos. I don't know how to actually say his name. You needed but, this uh, the Herald guy. back then, and prior to the Blackwing Lair raid, he was the only one in the game, so you'd always see alchemists wanting to run this place for the table yep. alone. Yep. Yep. To the make the uh, flask dungeon was also added in this patch. Oh, this is such a dumb this dungeon. This was all right. I, I hated don't know. this it's dungeon. It's a dungeon, so I don't think anyone really cares about that, right? Nobody cares about it's it. It's a pretty straightforward place. You just kill this guy and it's over. It's a low level That's all there is to it. Speaking of which, though, a change with the superior alliance dungeon, the Dead Mines, true, is that the miners were made to be no longer elite. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine if they were elite. That shit would take forever. Holy fuck. There were fuck. a ton of these guys, so this place would have taken you hours to get through, I'd imagine. Yeah, holy shit. I'm thinking and about that. Wow. another change here is that you can no longer complete quests while in a raid. Not really oh, too much to course. say about this one. Of course. It was kind of interesting. I thought that it was possible at one point. Obviously, some issues with balance, though. And yeah, I could also say so. And finishing duels now removes debuffs from players. I imagine warlocks were pretty fun to duel. Oh yeah, win. dude! You'd they get you down to one, one health. health, the dots and then just a dot finish ticks you off, and actually kills you. That's perfect. Maybe that's why they gave a 30-minute cooldown to their banish spell. Some developer lost one too many duels to a warlock. I'm thinking. Wait, a 30-minute cooldown on which, banish? They finally made it have no cooldown this what patch. What the fuck? When does? Also removed the when was that cost. a thing? I don't even remember but that. Here we have an interesting change. Holy and shit! That spirit no longer affects item proc percentage. Okay. As you know, this ended up just being for health and mana regeneration, and it was one of the weaker stats for most classes in the game in general, aside yeah. from leveling maybe. So I guess this is why he saw so much of it in the game. 
This was all over the Shadowcraft set, which seemed like a big waste. Holy but shit. at one point, it was more powerful. And when they removed its effect oh, on Procreates, yeah. they just neglected to change any of the items I remember that I'd trinket added. was fucking ridiculous. But that's pretty much it. Who was I think it was? For each of these videos, I'd also like to add a section at the end of players reacting to all of this stuff. There do exist archives of the forums during the time. Oh Patch no, dude. Was September I bet the people were probably pissed back then, too. And point one two was October 11th. Unfortunately, you can't look at the actual threads, but the titles still give us okay. enough to work with. So let's take a look yeah, they're and mad see what enough. the players are thinking. Okay. This is unacceptable. You can find the same titles now. World of Warcraft will be the worst game ever. N64 graphics are better than WoW graphics. True. I hear that WoW is same old, same old. Well, damn. Yeah. Well, it looks like the internet was pretty much the same back then. Is anybody These actually act buying as if this? World of Warcraft took their imaginary girlfriends or something. Wait. Make women, make less, women naked? less naked. Okay, now you've gone too far. Yeah, get this guy like out this of here. One. Such eloquence in communicating Monthly his frustrations fee. with blizzards. Wait, they were Monthly almost reing back then. Oh my God! Looking at the other posts, it was How actually much quite a stupid controversial fee thing back for then, while. which surprised me. It seemed like it was common practice with any MMO. I think a big reason is that there were a lot of fans coming. Yeah, Warcraft, Warcraft Three was games, free, so they were used to that one-time purchase setup. Yeah, of course. But you have to get credit to Larson seventy four here, asking the real questions. Although I think we all know the answer. <laughs> yes, here we they see will. A thread about durability. Like That's I good. Said, I'm glad that somebody is uh, paying attention to what, what to counts, game. what matters. And it's a shame that we can't get into the actual thread and see what... Okay, now it's really a shame. Is oh anyone God. actually buying this? If only you knew, Anvil Man. If, if only, only you, you knew. knew. Yeah. But that's about it. I didn't know all this that. Concludes Holy our shit. coverage of pre-release World I missed of Warcraft. The early 2000s. We're just getting started yeah, now. Yeah, they were great. The next video, we'll they're talk they're about fucking the day amazing, actually. November 23rd, yeah, I'll start to size one. Four, a date that changed the world of Warcraft. I hope that you found the video interesting or entertaining. It like it video. if you liked it. Uh, I, I did actually like one. this video a lot. It was, it was really, really calm and chill, and it was funny. They really should do that. I, I feel like if, if they added like Farewell a, for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If, if they added a boob so size slider and wow. I feel like a lot of people would actually get really upset about that though. That's the problem. Like but if they ever did do that, I I, I would be happy. Let me just say that. I would be